Hi everyone, um, it's Chrissy here. I am going to show you how to upload to our Fleet and Family YouTube. First, you'll need to actually obtain the username and the password for the YouTube um, via your supervisor or IT. Um, there actually is a two-step verification. So you will need to log in and then have someone in the office verify with a six digit code before you can actually log in. Then you'll have access to uh, the YouTube channel for Fleet and Family. And I'm actually gonna do this tutorial by showing you some pictures on my phone, so bear with me, sometimes the aspect is off. Once you have that channel, this is gonna be the area at the home screen. This is all the videos that we have uploaded. Um, so you've got a home screen, and these are some that I uploaded today or um, just recently and then you're going to click on this camera icon here that looks like a video recorder um, you'll also on your phone you'll need to be given YouTube permission to use your camera and your microphone otherwise it won't be able to upload the other step you need to go through is um, then link it to a Google account which you can through um, through the passwords that are given through IT. So after you've clicked on that camera icon there, it's going to pull um, access to your phone or your iPad, whatever you're using. Um, this is an option for you to record directly from the YouTube app. Um, and this one is an option to go live. We're not planning to go live at this moment, so I wouldn't use that one. If you wanna use record, uh, it's just harder to probably manipulate the video. Um, but say, for example, I just want to use this one. This was a video I recorded earlier. Um, so if I clicked on that video and you get this, which says invalid video, um, that means that you need to go again into your camera roll, click edit, and then download the video again. So this is me here. I downloaded a video. Um, it takes a while once it's downloaded again onto my device then I can go back into YouTube and click on that video. So here's me clicking on that video. It's going to then ask if I want to upload. I will upload it. And then after I get to this screen here, here's our logo. I know it's going to the right place. It's not going to somewhere else. Um, this is the video I've chosen. We're going to want to choose a title for it and then a description. Just work within your department for what you want to call it and what you want to describe the video as. And then this here is the privacy and listed is the setting that we want to use um, within our department. So unlisted would mean that anyone that I send the YouTube link to can view the video. So I could send it to a colleague, my supervisor, the director, they can say it's okay, good to go. Um, or, uh, and then you can later decide what you want to do with that video. Um, so these are the options it'll give you when you click on that. Public means that anyone can see it anywhere in the YouTube universe. Uh, unlisted means that anyone can view it who has the link. Um, and then private means that only you can view it. Um, at the moment, and then after that, you will uh, upload. And then you have to wait a while. It does have to go through. Your connection does have to be good enough to do that. Um, I don't have any tips or tools for how to edit. I've been using um, my handy whiteboard and I have been using printouts of the slides. So that's how I've been using visuals. Um, maybe later when we have the clearance, we can add that, but um, check back in. If you have any questions, email me, christina.d.hughes.ctr at navy.mil. Thanks, bye.